हेलो दोस्तों कैसे हो आप सब आई होप कि आप सब खेरत से होंगे तो पिछले वाले लेक्चर में हमने सीखा था कि जो स्केलर प्रोडक्ट होता है या जिसको हम डॉट प्रोडक्ट कहते हैं वो फॉलो करता है डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ तो आज के इस वीडियो में हम देखेंगे क्या जो हमारे पास वेक्टर प्रोडक्ट होता है या जिसको हम क्या कहते हैं क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट क्या ये भी फॉलो करता है डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ पहले हम यहाँ पे सीखते हैं कि डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ हम कैसे इसको कहेंगे कि इसने डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ फॉलो किया सपोज मानो कि हमारे पास एक वैक्टर ए है और इसको हमने क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट किया किसके साथ वेक्टर बी जो हमारे पास है प्लस वेक्टर सी ऑल राइट हमारे पास वेक्टर ए था और हमारे पास बी उसको हमने ऐड किया सी के साथ और उन बी प्लस सी को किसके साथ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई किया क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट किया किसके साथ ए के साथ तो जो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ हमें कहता है कि ये हम ऐसे लिख सकते हैं दैट ए क्रॉस बी राइट पुलिस ए क्रॉस सी अब इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि आप जो ये लिख रहे हो ए क्रॉस बी पुलिस सी आप इसको ऐसे भी लिख सकते हो आप इसको ऐसे भी कैलकुलेट कर सकते हो आप पहले ए का क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट निकाल सकते हो बी के साथ और ए का क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट सी के साथ विच कम्स आउट टू बी इक्वल टू ए क्रॉस बी पुलिस सी नाउ दिस इज वट वी कॉल एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ अब हम देखने वाले हैं कि इसको प्रूव करने वाले हैं क्या सच में जो हमारे पास जो वैक्टर प्रोडक्ट होता है दिस इज एक्चुअली वैक्टर प्रोडक्ट क्या सच में इसको फॉलो करता है तो इसको हम प्रूव करेंगे क्या सच में इसके बराबर आता है तो आज के वीडियो में हम इसी को आ, अच्छे से अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे इसी को प्रूव करेंगे तो आ, बिना टाइम गवाए चलो शुरू कर दें और एक बात आ, और अगर आपको कंटिन्यूसली वीडियो चाहिए आ, ऐसे इस टाइप के कि जिसमें हम अच्छे से इसको अंडरस्टैंड करें प्रूफ अंडरस्टैंड करें इस इस मैथमेटिकल जो हमारे पास होते हैं कुछ इक्वेशन मैथमेटिकल कुछ फार्मूलाज तो इस वीडियो को जो इसका बेल का आइकन है तो दबाना मत भूलिए तो लेट्स स्टार्ट जस्ट सी दिस फर्स्ट दिस फिगर ये हमारे पास एक फिगर है और यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि ये हमारे पास एक ट्रेंगल है ओ पी एस दिस आउट ट्रेंगल ओ पी एस इन दिस ट्रेंगल यू विल सी दैट जो इसकी एंगल uh, बनेगी हमारे पास वेक्टर ए है अलॉन्ग दिस एक्स एक्सीज एंड दिस इज आवर वेक्टर बी अलॉन्ग दिस डायरेक्शन एंड द एंगल बिटवीन दिस ए एंड बी इज अल्फा यू कैन सी दिस और राइट एंड इन दर वैक्टर हेयर दिस इन दर ट्रैंगल एंड द वैक्टर ए इज अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सीज एंड इन दर वैक्टर सी वैन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस and the angle between these two comes out to be that is angle beta we call this angle beta on this figure we'll uh, prove this uh, how this comes out to be uh, uh, how we balance this equation how distributive law uh, actually how we can prove this now let me talk about this triangle first this is our uh, वेक्टर बी एंड दिस आवर वैक्टर सी एंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एंड द रिजल्टेंट वैक्टर कम्स आउट टू बी दैट इज आर इज इक्वल टू आई के राइट हेयर दैट इज बी वैक्टर प्लस सी वैक्टर और राइट एंड द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट बिटवीन द एंगल बिटवीन दिस रिजल्टेंट वैक्टर आर एंड दिस वैक्टर ए इज एंगल बीटा दैट इज यू कैन सी हेयर सॉरी एंगल गामा वे एक्चुअली इंट्रोड्यूस बीटा लेट मी कॉल दिस एंगल गामा दिस इज फ्राम दिस टू दिस All right. Now we draw uh, this uh, perpendicular here on this O N. All right, and we call this S N, and this is actually parallel to uh, O T. All right, and another uh, you can see here another line we draw perpendicular to this O N is that is P M, and this is also parallel to O L. We can use these. Uh, in our expression let me write this first this triangle when we talk about this triangle that is you can see here let me show you os vector is equal to when we talk about this uh, triangle os vector is equal to op plus ps ye maine kyun likha kyunki jo hamare paas resultant hai that is os this is sum of uh, uh, vector sum of the triangular sum of this o P and P S, and we know this uh, O S that is R comes out to be O P is our um, B plus P S is our C vector. 
all right now uh, let's find the uh, cross product of uh, this a and b plus c suppose we have this uh, vector a and i am going to find uh, suppose this is our vector a i am going to find this uh, vector a the cross product between this vector a and this uh, resultant vector r this i can write here there is a cross b plus c because the result comes out to be b plus c and this can be written as i can write here a cross r because i replace this b plus c they are resultant uh, by this r and this can be written as that is a r sin and the angle between these two is actually this angle gamma you can see here the angle between vector a and a resultant vector r that is angle gamma so i can write here uh, angle gamma and n is our uh, this is our uh, unit vector which uh, shows the direction resultant direction also i can uh, write this equation this ar sin uh, gamma i can write this in this way that is a r sin gamma and a unit vector now you can see in this figure see this figure when we uh, we know our sin theta is equal to sin gamma is equal to that is uh, perpendicular divided by hypotenuse and we know the here this perpendicular is our uh, sn which is actually parallel to ot i can write here ot our perpendicular is ot divided by our hypotenuse is this result in b plus c that's r all right and this comes out to be ot is equal to r sin gamma all right and i can replace this r sin gamma by this ot you can see here i can replace this uh, r sin gamma by this ot all right the so second i this a ot and the unit vector all right uh, let me call this equation first you can more make notes also you can pause this video and uh, write this let me rub this now ye jo humne yahan pe nikala this is our uh, a cross b plus c uh, from the left side of our equation and this comes out to be that's a ot now again now let me cross let me uh, find this a cross b aap yahan pe is equation mein dekh sakte ho this is our vector a and this is our vector b and the angle between these two is alpha and i can write this a b sin alpha and our unit vector n all right sorry you can see this <clears throat> this is our uh, a and this is our b and the cross product of this two comes out to be ab sin that's angle between these two that's alpha and the unit vector and i can write this a b sin alpha with unit vector n that's a this b sin alpha i can show you how uh, i can replace this we know sin alpha is equal to uh, perpend uh, perpendicular divided by hypotenuse and you can see here in this triangle our perpendicular is this that is p to m which is parallel to ol i can write this ol all right divided by hypotenuse is this from this to this and this is our uh, angle this is our b and i can write this ol is equal to b sin all right uh, sorry ol Uh, our sin alpha is equal to that is uh, perpendicular divided by uh, perpendicular divided by hypotenuse our perpendicular is this that is uh, that is ol this is uh, perpendicular to this and hypotenuse that is our b
all right thus i can write this <clears throat> where is called sin alpha this means that i can replace this ol here i can replace this b sin alpha by ol now let me put in this thus i can write a cross b is equal to a ol and unit vector this is our equation second all right now let me rub this also <clears throat> now again uh, let's go to this uh, triangle this pqs and triangle let me show this pqs in this triangle <clears throat> the angle between this is our uh, vector a along this direction and this is our vector c and there is angle between beta between these two i can write uh, here that is uh, a cross c comes out to be a c and uh, sin beta this angle beta between these two and unit vector n i can again replace this a uh, c sin beta let me first this uh, write this you know that uh, sin beta we can write is equal to that is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse and you see here in this figure our perpendicular is lt all right this is sq our perpendicular in this triangle but this is uh, parallel to lt all right and our hypotenuse is this that is c here in this triangle let me be, i am talking about this triangle all right thus lt comes out to be c sin beta let me replace this c sin beta in this above equation by lt all right thus i can write this as a lt and unit vector n all right since we know that what do we know we know this a o t that is a o t equation uh, our equation first you remember this equation first yes which i can write as a that is o l plus l t why i write this in this way because we know this uh, a o t uh, unit vector this is actually the sum of this o l that is a o l plus l t the sum of these two comes out to be a o t all right this uh, whole distance you can see here uh, o l plus l t comes out to be o t this is actually here you can uh, this our equation third you can uh, add up this equation third and you will find this all right <clears throat> all right now as we know i can write this in this way a o l and unit vector n plus a l t and unit vector n this our a o t that is a cross b plus c if you remember this from this equation first and this is our aol is actually uh, equals to that is a cross b and this is actually equal to uh, a cross c and this is our proof thus we can write uh, this a cross b plus c is equal to a cross b plus a cross c e. uh, this means that ke, uh, if you know uh, this a if you uh, if you go, going to find this a cross b plus c you can write this a cross b you can find this a cross b first plus a cross c and which is actually equal to this a cross b plus c all right this is our uh, today's proof for this vector product as a distributive now you hmm, i hope you will uh, understand this all right let's stop here today thank you so much